my cops, you see it. Let's get it. Sick splats to pay thirty six million for a collection of fingerprints. Um, I never. I guess I would have never put that with an amusement park, to be honest. But let's check out the article. <clears throat> Illinois Supreme Court rules in favor of class action. Uh, company practice of scanning people's fingerprints when they enter the amusement park. Theme park operator Six Flags has agreed to pay thirty-six million dollars to settle a class action lawsuit over its acquisition of fingerprint data of visitors at its theme park. The Illinois Supreme Court ruled in the case of Roseback and versus Six Flags that collecting biometric data at the premises gates by scanning fingerprints of people who entered the company theme park violates Illinois' Biometric Information Privacy Act (BIPA). Based in 2008, BIPA regulates how companies collect and use someone's biometric data, such as retina or iris scans, fingerprints, voice print, or scan of hand or face geometry. The law mandates that a company must obtain a person's written consent before acquiring and storing this type of data. The case involved the mother, Stacy, who in 2016 sued Six Flags Entertainment after the Illinois branch of the theme park scanned the fingerprints of her 14-year-old son, Alex, without obtaining a written consent, without properly disclosing the company's business practices as how they would use the data. That was super smart by her. After passing through the lower courts, the case made it to the Illinois Supreme Court, where Six Flags filed a motion to dismiss the case, claiming that Roseback was not an agreed party, according to BIPA, because she had not proven an actual injury under the law. However, the court denied the motion ruling that someone needs to allege some actual injury or adverse effect beyond violation of his or her rights to the quantify as agreed person under the law according to the decision. Mediation between the two parties occurred, which they agreed to the settlement entitled anyone who first had their fingerprint scanned by Six Flags Great America when entering the park between October 1, 2013 and April 2030, 2016 to receive up to $200 a person. People who first had their fingerprint scan and entered the park between May 2016 and December 2018 could receive up to $60. Uh, that's a win for privacy ag advocates. The case is not the first time people have been cited by a lawsuit aiming limited a company collection of biometric data which in itself has been a hotbed and controversial privacy implementation. The high-profile case still being heard in the uh, American Civil Liberties Union, Sue New York, a based startup Clear AI on behalf of a number of organizations compromised of vulnerable communities by amassing a database of biometric face identification data of billions of people and selling it to third parties without their consent. So once again, Six Flags were scanning people uh, fingerprints and palm prints without getting permission. That's the Illinois uh, law. Once again, Professor Black Ops, cybersecurity for the people. Let's protect our privacy.